so we got that so i'm gonna go back to the house and i'm gonna put it in the fridge um this is what it looks like it probably won't um set up so you can see it just because i'm driving so it won't focus but it's at i keep wanting to call it scour box or scour yeah it is scour guard 4kc and we got 310 doses and i'm gonna be honest with you it cost 202 dollars and 23 cents because they're roughly 65 bucks a piece um usually we get the scour box the scour box is 50 and you're probably like well why why would you um get the one if it's more expensive well you can't get scour boss and we need it we we usually get scour boss nine is what it's called and the scour boss nine you can't get a hold of right now which really sucks and then you're probably like well can't you just not give it no because you can't you can't afford to lose um a calf to scours when the calf is worth well right now what is it in Alberta, uh, 300 to 500 pounders were, I think it was 380 a piece. So you times your 500 by $3.80. Um, and that's what it is. Uh, what was it? I think they were roughly averaging from um, anywhere between, I think, excuse me, $1,500 to $2,500 a piece. And I think that's on the low end. Uh, D1 and D2 cows were running if they were bred. So that's not even D1. Bred cows or bred heifers were running anywhere between three grand to four grand, which is good money. So unfortunately, we can't afford we can't afford to uh, lose a calf to scours. So we inoculate for scours. So. The only, the only bad thing with our cows right now is I have a Longhorn and she's got a calf in her, but Longhorn calves ain't worth crap, let's be honest. Um, biggest one is, is you can tell they're Longhorn. They don't want to pay for Longhorn, they want a beef cow. Um, Longhorns aren't really beef cows. They're um, a leaner cow, but they got good milk, so they're really good mums. Um, for that because their milk is very rich They're also longhorns are also really good like the bulls because the calves come out smaller um, okay. um, The calves come out smaller so they're really good for heifers uh, So a lot of people run a uh, longhorn bull on your heifers Because your heifers then have a little bit easier time calving Versus putting these big ass herefords on there and them herefords well, you gotta buy the right bull, but some of these Hereford bulls, these Angus, especially the Charlotte, they come out with big calves. So, usually, um, the best route is to put a good heifer bull on them, which you really gotta look for a good heifer bull. Um, we buy Bannermans that are out of Lloyd Minister. Um, we usually get a two-year-old. And so far, so his name's Big Red. Big Red's really good. I bought a speckled park bull last year. Um, I haven't bought one this year. I haven't found one that I could afford either. Speckled park bulls range basically from at the low end eight grand all the way up to um, 12 or more, which I don't have that kind of money. So we're just running the big old Hereford on them. Uh, we'll see what happens this year though. We're hoping for some speckled babies. Um, the only one I really want to keep back is Lilo's. Um, that's my black Angus. Otherwise, I'll be selling the rest. Um, because we don't have the pasture land to keep back a bunch of calves, so some of my heifers will have to go. I'm also waiting for a train. Um, but anyways, I was talking about this Longhorn. This Longhorn is really, really mean. Um, you get her separated, she's a headhunter, which is not good. We don't keep that. We have quiet cattle. Our cattle anybody can walk through there's no problems we don't have any mean ones when they calve um, and that's the library who we don't want mean cattle and then 
yeah, so she's she'll she head hunts, which means basically she's looking at she she's getting ready to go. So she will go, she won't stay. I don't keep those kind of cows. Uh and then this is her first time calving, so she's a first time calver. She's a heifer. She was a baby last year. This is her first calf. Um, which is why we call them first time calvers. Uh, she, we don't know what she's going to be like when she's going to calve. Usually when they're like that though, they get really, really mean. Um, we had one, her name was Ugly. She was so bad, you would have to tag her in the bucket. You would have to tag her under the truck. You would have to tag her, tag her calves in the box of the truck. Cause she, she, and she would come out of, she would try and get into or under or wherever her calf is. Her name was Ugly. She was a big old brindle cow. Um, she was really mean. <laughs> and then, of course, once she's done calving, she's good. You have no problems. But when she, when she calved, she was mean. Um, but, yeah, this one we're not. No. I want to sell her with the calves. And Dad's like, well, I don't know if you want to sell a bread heifer. Well, I don't think I want to keep this bread heifer. She, so, first off, longhorns aren't worth shit. Like, I might get $800 for her. Because where we are, they want the Anguses, they want the Herefords, they want um, the Charlays, the Semitols. They want those. They also don't really want a Speckle Park. Um, but I have a soft spot, spot for Speckle Parks. Those are what I like. But, uh, yeah, I don't think she's going to stay. She's, she's pretty snuffy. And... If you're going to be that way, sorry, you get on the truck. Um, I'm, I'm 30. I can't, can't run a lot anymore. I mean, I can scramble pretty good and get used to it. But I'm going to get old and I want cows that are going to be quiet. Like, our cows are so quiet right now that you can walk through them and you'll have no cool problems walking through these cows. They're quiet. They're respectful. Overall, in general, they're just good. They're good cattle. So, this one, she not staying. She won't find a new home. But, that's the recycling truck. So, we're going to pick this guy up. And we're going to take him back. And then, I'm not sure what we're going to do. It's 8.13. Um, before I go to work, though. So, well, I might even go after. Um, I'm gonna go get, I wasn't gonna put this back in the garage, but well, I did. Um, we're gonna get a bunch of stuff, just in case we're locked down in the house for two days. Cause, if you, if you watch the news, you'd see the big ass snowstorm that's happening in, is it Nova Scotia? I think it is. But, anyways, let's go get that. This has to go in the fridge. Let's go do that. There's nothing in there. But when I come back to town, I have some books that I'll put in between this one, the one up by the house, and then the one on the other street from this one. I have a few books. Plus, I'm going to clean out a little bit. There's not much to clean out, really. But I'm going to go through some of them and pick them out and give them a new home. I also bought... Um, so I bought two bookshelves. I sold goats. So I hemmed and hawed because I really need a new bookshelf. So I went with a new bookshelf versus more books. Plus, by the time, um, the ones that I'm waiting for are coming out, hopefully I'll have my calves sold so then I can, um, buy my one stack of books and then we'll go from there. But... All my calf money is going to be put away. I'm going to use it eventually as a down payment. I keep saying, and all the ladies at work laugh at me, but I keep saying that my cows are going to buy me a house. And literally, that's the way it's going. Like, calf prices right now are really, really nice. So, I hope. 
We'll see. Unless YouTube really starts popping off. <laughs> if YouTube started making me the cash flow to buy a house, I would be... I'd be speechless, let's be honest. I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't know what to do. But I would be extremely grateful. Extremely grateful. Um, now we just gotta put in the hard work and get there. I wanna hit a thousand subscribers and be monetized by the end of the year. Will it happen? I don't know. I need to get better at editing my videos. I need to learn to be funnier. <laughs> I need to learn to just do better. My truck is busy. But anyways, I'm gonna be quiet now and I'm gonna go and pick up my mother and we will see what what we get up to. Oh, I should probably show you. Now it's dark in here, so you probably can't see. But currently, right now, I'm reading Consider Me by Becca, um, Becca Mack. She's a new author to me. I'm almost halfway, and so far, it's actually really good. Like, I actually really, really like it. Um, it is this series. Now, I don't know how many series she has. This one I picked up at Walmart. So, like, I had seen it on... It was on some people's YouTube channels. Um, I was watching, um, I'm kind of a loser in this way. I was watching bookshelf tours. Because <laughs> I have nothing else better to do. Anyways, so I saw these and like I googled them like, oh, what are those? And they're hockey romance, so it's the only one that I know. So I, I picked them up at Walmart because I happened to see them at Walmart. I got the first one and I think the last one at Walmart and they were 25% off so I'm like oh shoot yeah because that puts them at $18 so I'm like well okay I can jump on that bandwagon she's icy right there so then I was like well I won't get the third one till the third one goes on sale or whatever I'll wait well no sooner does payday roll around and the third one or well it'd be the second one but the third total was a bit available at 30% off. So I'm like, well, shoot, I'll take that at 30% off. So then I got all three. So I finished, which one did I read before this? Hmm. I think it's called The Age of the Vampires by uh, Carolyn. P no, no, it's no. I read The Grandparent, The Grandparent, no. Yeah, The Grandparent Trap, no. The God Parent Trap, that's what it was, by Rachel Von Dyken. And then I started this one. That one was good as well. And this one is actually really good too. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. But, anyways, now I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let you go. And we will see you when I see you. Good morning. It's 7 04. And we are headed to get my mom after her night shift. Yesterday with the wind chill, it was minus 34. So I don't know, like, I think in any cold place, everybody waits, waits for March. But here in Saskatchewan, especially, we always wait for March because if March comes in like a lion, it should leave like a lamb. Comes in like a lamb, it'll leave like a lion. And what that basically means is if it comes in nice, it's going to end with a really nasty storm. Um, so we'll see. Uh, this week is really, really cold. Of course, today is the 28th of February. So we've got one more day of February left. And then it's March. And we're supposed to get a little bit of snow on the Saturday, Sunday. So today is Wednesday. So tonight... When we get back from work, I have to put the garbage out, and then, um, then we go to work tomorrow again. Uh, I did get my time off. I have so there was a whole mess up about the days. They did April first when I know I specifically put it May first. Like I did a refix. 
she used whatever one she wanted, which is fine, whatever. And then, so I had to call yesterday and have her change it to May 1st. So I work two more months, and then I go for my leave of five months to go spray. I'm really excited to do something different. And then, um, I'll come back in October. Today I have to put in my Thursday Fridays for April. So then they're off. And then, um, yeah. Basically I got my time off. I'm very excited. I'm very happy to do a different job. I'm very happy. But, uh, we're just headed to pick up my mom. I brought my book so I can read while I'm waiting for her to show up. I always drive by my, well, it's not my house, but the house I really want. I really, really like it, but can't afford it yet, but that's okay. We'll eventually afford it, but I really, really like it. So I always drive by. I'm hoping that they turn on the lights. Like, I can, I can see the pictures and stuff. Like, there's, it's up on um, one of the sites here in town. Um, but because the living room's so small, like, it's a, it's a lot smaller, and it's only got, um, on the one side of the living room, because I would put the living room upstairs, it's only got, like, a, uh, not even a half wall, it's got, like, a quarter of a wall, it's, like, you know, well, bigger, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of interested how they set it up. There's people renting in it right now, but yeah, I really want that house. Um, anyways, I'm gonna drive to get my mother. I'm not sure what we're gonna vlog this week. I'm really, really tired, so oh, I got a story for you. So, because last yesterday was so cold, I was sleeping. And so it's two, so Tuesday morning at 4.30 in the morning, I hear this loud popping sound. So what happens is, is in a lot of these houses, as they settle, they make noise. And when it gets cold, it pops. Like the joists and stuff and the beams and the houses. So because it, we were so warm for a while and it went cold, it was popping. Well, there's so much popping. I woke up, I thought somebody was trying to break in the house. Nobody was. I should have filmed it. it. Scared the piss right out of me. So I was up from 4.30 yesterday all the way till I think I went to bed at 9.30. So I'm tired. I slept really good last night, but I didn't want to get up this morning. <laughs> but yeah, that was my excitement. I was like, what a Sam Hill is that? And some of it because uh, the room that we we put the bed in, just above it, um, is like right under the roof peak. So it makes a lot of noise and you hear everything. So yeah, scared the bejesus is out of me. Where are you parking, buddy? But I'm gonna go in here, I gotta ch exchange my loonies for five bucks, and then we'll go get my mom. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna jump over and pick up my mom. It's minus 20, but with the wind chill, I think we're in the 30s. She's cold. We're gonna crank our heater, and that's all you'll hear now. So, um, I'll see you when I vlog next, which might be on my way to work, I'm not sure yet. So today is February 29th. I just dropped off my cans, so I'm hoping for a good check. We'll see. It'll either be done tomorrow afternoon, or I'll be able to pick up the check on Monday. But I'm just now headed to work. It's 9:47. I finished Unravel Me. Oh, oh my goodness, Talena. Unravel Me by Becca Mac. It was actually really, really good. I liked it. I actually really like her books. So there's a fourth one, which is Jackson's. Um, it's already out now. So his love interest is Jenny. Or not Jenny, Lenny. But the, her full name, I think, is Lennon. Anyways, so that one I think comes out in July. 
so that one I will end up getting. <laughs> I actually bought the three of them at Walmart because they were on a discount, so that's why I bought them, and I'm actually kind of happy I did because I love them. Garrett was my favorite, which it would be play with me, um, and then I'd have to say it would be um, Carter's, which is uh, Consider Me. So far, Unravel Me is still the last one, which is Adam's, but I don't know. I think I think um, Jackson's story might end up being a tie with Garrett's, but we'll see. Now I'm going to read some Ruby Dixon's. I have four novellas I think we're going to nail off, um, and they're part of the, I don't know how to say it, but it's the R one. The Reese, Reese verse or something. I don't know how to say it, like I said. Um, so I'm going to start, or probably start and finish the one today, and then go from there. But, yeah, now I'm headed to work. I have three more days left, and then I'm off Monday, Tuesday. So, that's alright. Um, Tuesday we're going to hang out, because I'm by myself all day. So that's alright. Uh, I also have to, so tomorrow's payday, so March 1st is payday for us. Um, I think in March we get three paydays, which is awesome, because that helps um, to be able to put money away, because basically, I guess it feels like we get paid, um, like it feels like you get paid, then you get paid again, but really it's not. But it just, it makes life 20 times easier with three paydays. So, that'll be nice in March. We're going to get a little bit more of a savings. Um, so, like, what I do is if it's $1,200, $200 goes into a side savings. I have it labeled as horses because at one point I had a pile of horses. Now I don't have as many. Um, so, I have that. And then I have my house money, which is literally um, anytime I sell livestock or... I have a big extra amount of income that comes in, it goes in there, and then I have uh, high interest savings, which uh, I put my CAN money into, and this year we're going to try and not spend any of our CAN money at all, and I'd like to create a stockpile, so then eventually the CAN money can turn into like... Um, if I had to pay, pay taxes on my house or get a house fixed, because I want to buy a house. So I'm just kind of putting my money where it needs to go, getting your ducks in order, I guess. But yeah, I'm almost at work. And oh, this weekend I got bad news. I have to work with the mean, nasty, terrible lady. But it's going to be fine. We're just going to go in and we're going to do our thing and we're going to pretend like she's not even there. We don't have to help her unless it's patient orientated. Otherwise, I don't have to talk to her. But it's going to be a long two days. I'm hoping, 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 hoping she's going to call in. But I don't think I'm that lucky. <laughs> so, it's fine. And then on top of that, so I have her this weekend. I have her next weekend as well. Which sucks balls. But it is what it is. We'll be fine. We're going to get it over with. And then I have to stay up till midnight today. Because I have to pick up my mom at midnight. Because she works 7 a.m. this morning. To 12 p.m. tonight. I think it's actually 12.30. But I always come early. So I'll be back here at 12. So that's our exciting day today. I have... We'll say I usually go in at 10 15 but depending on who's here I come later and later every day closer to 10 30 usually I'm uh, come in early but it's fine it's all good so I will see you basically when I see you I'm not sure if we're gonna film tomorrow I'm not sure what we're gonna be up to but we're gonna be tired tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow's Friday oh I look really bad <laughs> good morning um so I'm just headed to Sergeant Can to get my check. And then I gotta get the I gotta go to the bank and um, take my money up because today's payday. I gotta fix this too. And what the hell is this? And then then I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but those are the two things I gotta do today. I 
am tired. I didn't get my mom last night at midnight. We did it. <coughs> I was not excited for it. I'm tired today. I could have another snooze, but we are gonna go get that done. The we're supposed to have a really bad storm um, in the next two days. So Saturday, Sunday. And I'm gonna, <clears throat> tonight, so like, I'll probably go like 7.30. I'm gonna go to Walmart and get some groceries and stuff that we might need. Plus my mom's gotta go to work, so she'll want to be driven and picked up. So I guess that's what we'll do. Um, so I guess I will see you when we go shopping. My hair, we look a little bit better. I gotta quit putting it up though, but I just, I like it up and out of my face. Anyways, and most people would be like, well you should cut it um, short. I don't like short hair because you can't get it off your, off your neck and stuff. Unless you go like really, really short. Anyways, so I made $40 for my cans, which is good money. When I had four and a half bags. Technically, they count five. They don't count the one bag as a half, but I do because it wasn't full. So, that's good money. I'm very happy with that. So, now we're just headed to the bank. So, I will put that in the bank. And because it's payday, um, I've already figured out where all the money needs to go. I can take out three fifty dollars to split where I need to split. Um, so, 400 of it is my truck payment. So I made, I made 1100 $100 got put away. I paid um, two things that needed to be paid that were $50 each. They're done. So then I take my truck payment off, which is 400 because we'll, we'd be at 900 So then we go down and 400 of it is my truck payment. So that makes it 500 I need 100 for fuel. So now we're at 400 and then I keep $50 in my account if I need to use it. So that leaves me at 350 to pull. So I pull 350 and then I divide it out between, um, so I take, I split out my, uh, my uh, plates. So uh, each paycheck is 75 regardless, um, even if it's three months because I wanna get ahead and I'm a little bit ahead. I think by 30 bucks, which is pretty good. So, uh, 75 for the, uh, the plates, 100 for the, the animals, because whether I have to buy food or get them treats, or if we go to Regina, I really need two dog beds, because Red and Ivy need new, new dog beds really, really bad. So that's how I'm also saving for that. And then... The rest I just kind of filter. 20 bucks here, like to groceries, um, something. And then I just kind of fil filter it out. And then I have my $5 bundle. So whatever $5 is left goes into my uh, little $5 uh, thing. So I do have a budget binder where I budget it all out. Um, just, just to get ahead. <laughs> I think we're all trying to get ahead with bills being so expensive and everything like that. So yeah, that's kind of how I do it. Um, one day maybe I'll just make a whole budgeting video of how I budget it out. Um, but as of right now, I'm at the bank. So I'm going to go in, put money in and take money out, which seems to be the norm for banks. So I went to 7-Eleven. Uh, these are my favorite, so I got a couple for my lunch, just to have, eat like two or three, and then each day, good enough. But I do love these, these are my favorite. So they're live wire, sour live wires, and only blue raspberry, that's the only ones I like. So at 7.12, I just dropped my mom off at the hospital to go to work. So, we are gonna go to Walmart. And we are going to get some lunch stuff. I definitely need drinks. Like, I would really like 
water. I know water is 227 I think, at um, wholesale. So if it's that price or cheaper at Walmart, we'll get one. My favorite water is Smart Water. I don't know why, I just like it. It's a little, it's smoother, it's just nicer. It's just the water I like, but um, I'll drink just about anything. Oh, his lights are horrible. Oh, we should go. First up, let's get fuel. I have to go put um, gas in. So we go to UFA because UFA is cheaper. So we are going to go do that first. I'm going to put in $100. I'm hoping it doesn't take $100, but it might. It very well might. Um, I think we, well, I don't know the price lately, but you, um, I think the last time I filled up it was a buck sixteen. I honestly didn't look though. Uh, I don't know. I think we're a buck thirty six or something at everywhere else, and then it's usually quite a, quite a few cents cheaper at UFA. So that's where we're going to go. Uh, and then Walmart. So I will see you when we get to UFA. Already, 
Um, so I got, they say silk and satin pillowcases are really good for your hair and your skin. Now, I don't know nothing about it, so if it's not true, please steer me right. Um, but I was hoping it would help with my hair. I know it won't help with split ends, I don't think. Unless it does, let me know, because again, I don't know nothing. I am not a beauty health guru, not me. Uh, I don't know nothing about beauty. I am the way I am, and if you don't like me, that's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I got those. So now I'm going to head to the dollar store because I need a new toothbrush. But I can't remember what the end is. So if they have two here, I'll grab them. And um, then I'll take a picture so that I know what type of ends to get because I can't remember what it is. Um, plus, it's good to have a couple extra so I can put one away for if I ever need it which let's be honest I hardly go anywhere so probably not but just in case the other reason why I bought it is because the bottom is turquoise so really that's kind of my colors turquoise and gray but um yeah let's go to the dollar store and then we'll go back to the house and I'll show you all the garbage I got that I probably didn't need I'm also not sure sure what else I'm gonna get at the dollar store but I did get, so with the new Telesticks, it's cheapest to get them at Walmart because they're three for nine dollars. Otherwise, they're four twenty-five a piece at wholesale. So I get three, and then what I do is, is I keep two for work, and I'm saving one for when I go to work um, for my brother. So then I have a stockpile of snacks because gonna be 12 hour day which I'm not well I'm kind of used to but I'm kind of not used to but anyways I'm here at the dollar store so I'm gonna go in and buy crap we don't need okay so we got everything we needed at oh, it's icy we got everything that we needed at the dollar store plus extra so this is a toothbrush which you probably can't see um but I also remembered while we were, while I was in there, I shouldn't say we, you guys don't have to go in there. Um, I needed a little box for a lady that I've worked with for a long time. I've known the lady forever. She's retiring. And I have an ornament that I needed a box for. Plus I needed a bag for her goodies. I'm still not sure all the stuff I want to put in yet. Um, and I needed tissue paper and a card they don't have any retirement cards which is okay i got a thank you card um let's see it says a special thanks for being thoughtful caring and amazing you and then i figured now i gotta sit down and think what i want to put in it um but i know part of it'll be like happy retirement uh, but otherwise, I don't really know what I want to write in the card. Because um, I don't think a card... Uh, I don't think you can really put into a card what the lady means to me. I've, I've known the lady forever. It's very sad. Because she's such a great person. She's kind, she's caring, she's loving, she's... You know how some people go, oh, she's my second mom. That's kind of what she feels like. <laughs> she's like my second mom. Um, basically, you could say I love her. <laughs> I love the lady, I do. And it, like... I don't know, we've just always gotten along, we've always hung out. And it's sad because... Um, I won't see her as much anymore, like right now, because we work together, I see her all the time. But, um, yeah, it's going to be really, really sad. But we are both leaving. So, that's why it's going to be really, really hard to go back in the winter. And I'm trying to lean towards not going back. That's why I'm hoping YouTube pops off, so I don't have to go back to 
dietary. I hate it there. And I hate it even more now because she's not there. And the lady who got her line, I don't know her. I hear she's very nice, but, you know, we don't have that bond, that connection that I do with the lady that I work with right now. But I guess that's, that's a dilemma in itself. But... Yeah, it's gonna be really sad not seeing her all the time. I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her a lot. I'm probably the only one in that place that actually will genuinely miss her because I miss her. But I'm happy for her too because she's she's gonna have more freedom. She's gonna go see her daughter. She's gonna be able to do things she wants to do instead, instead of having to come to a place that's not very fun anymore that kills you every day to have to go in there you have to fight yourself to go I think overall she's going to be really really happy too also not having to deal with the toxicity of being there so yeah I'm going to miss her I'm going to miss her a lot and our, I always, we always, when we hang up the phone, we always say, love you, goodbye. <laughs> so, I'm going to end my vlog here. And we'll start a new one. Um, probably tomorrow when we go get my mom, or maybe Monday. Uh, Monday I'll be all day by myself, so maybe we'll just kind of hang out. We'll do stuff. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but anyways, um... I hope you enjoyed my video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.